Hey, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Uh, hey, all around. Okay. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to share some realization uh, I got. I was listening to Janaki uh, give her uh, this awesome uh, reading today, and she shared some of her realization, which I want to encourage her to do more of. It's really good. And, uh, uh, in a second, let me ask. Hey, Janaki, you want to come in for a minute? I'm just going to do a short thing here. Yeah, just sit down for a minute and just, yeah, I think this is just going to be short. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share some realizations. I, I shared some with you there. I'll just go over it again. Uh, might as well share these things because they're coming. Uh, I, I, listening to the story of Madhavinda Puri um, and that story in Chaitanya Charitamrita, I got some more revelation on the, on the story. Again, that's why I just love these books because it's just, oh, it's just ever-increasing understanding. It just goes on forever. It's fascinating. So I'll share my, uh, what, I, what the Lord has showed me about this because um, it shows you basically how the Lord delivers the world through the bona fide spiritual master. And it could be in increments. Um, so uh, like starting from, uh, um, say, like Bhakti Vinod's time, starting by, because he was bona fide, Bhakti Sananta bona fide, and Prabhupada bona fide, and uh, this fool here is, believe it or not, bona fide. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> but you see, the deliverance of the world comes sometimes stage, you know, stages like a rocket going up, they have stage one, stage two, stage three, because, you know, it's a big thing, deliverance, you know. Consciousness has to evolve and learn gradually things assimilate stuff, lessons. So anyway, the, that story, I saw like the, that was the essence of how Krishna delivers himself. <laughs> Think about that. Okay? So actually, tactically, uh, the truth is there's nothing but Krishna in this world, and that includes the living entities. But not in the Mayavadi idea way. That's not, not the way. It's, it's just the truth way. The truth is that Krishna is everything. Um, he's, 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 he's the uh, offering, he's the offerer, he's the ghi, he's, he's everything. He's the living entity, he even says in Chaitanya Charitamrita, he says, of, uh, of uh, these potencies, I'm the living entity. Okay, so that's him. Now, now, what's the difference between Krishna that's never overwhelmed by Maya and the living entity, which is himself overwhelmed by Maya? Difference is his size. You know, the size of Krishna in our form here, you know, is the size of an atom. So this huge Maya just comes right in, takes over. It's the whole show. All of a sudden, the, the Krishna is overwhelmed, see? So Krishna comes to deliver himself. So, and just so that you get really clear that this is the truth, we're telling you we'll use Rupa Goswami's verse, which says... <laughs> All glories to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Chaitanya, who descended this, to this material world to teach the science of devotional service to you, 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 no, to himself. <laughs> See, himself. Okay, so now we've established that principle. Now here's the story of Madhavindapuri. So in essence, just to, you know, to give a synopsis, is Madhavindapuri attained the platform of ecstatic devotion. Okay, very deep, he, uh, very ecstatic. It's like, like um, just very, very ecstatic. Okay, and so he, uh, Krishna appears to him in a dream and says, because of your ecstatic love, okay, I'm going to deliver the world. Okay. He's going to deliver the world. Is the world you or I or everybody else? No, the world. The world is who? Him. He's going to deliver himself, okay? 
<laughs> I tell you, the way Krishna thinks, you got to be really ecstatic to start to pick up on these things, man. Otherwise, there's no way. If I didn't have that, I think it was probably because of that ecstasy this morning. And then when she read that, it's like, oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> it's, oh, okay. Hey, that's good. Let me tell my friends about it. Anybody who wants to listen to this. And, and the, you know, if you're as crazy as I am, then you may take my words as truth. But, you know, they're all backed up in the scriptures. When you start to hear these things, you start to, hey, oh, my God, that's actually in there, man. <laughs> yeah, so Krishna says, because of your ecstatic devotion, I'm going to deliver the world. Okay? So anyway, now Krishna gives him an order. He says, well, basically, I'm over in that jungle over there, in that jungle, and because of heat and cold and the elements, I've been suffering a lot. So go over and take me out of that jungle and situate me on that hill of Govardhan. Situate me on that hill of Govardhan. Okay. I think we're going to get more revelation here coming. Okay. Go situate me on that hill of Govardhan. And so he goes out. Does he do it alone? No, he goes and engages people. He says, oh, you get these people. He goes to the village, see? And he gets helpers, people he says, speaking, actually, actually, Krishna is, he's, he's in, is in the jungle over there, and I need helpers to come and, and take them out there, out of that. Who, who wants to help? See, that's, okay, see, he's a guru. Now, he's qualified with ecstatic devotion comes out to engage people in the work. Jesus talked about it too. He thought himself as a manager of the vineyard, man. He goes out, he sees people loafing. Everybody's loafing in this world. They're not really, they're doing their own thing, you know, what they think is right and speculate and all that. So, uh, yeah, he, so Madhavinda Puri did this like what Jesus was talking. It's always like that. That's Guru who delivers the world. He goes out and puts people to work. Okay? We also putting people to work here. You notice that, you know, ecstatic love. Can if you can if you got any good sense at all, you can start to see this is the this is ecstatic devotion manifest here. And what's happening? Going out, call. Okay, okay. Now here, Krishna's in the jungle. See uh, what is it when a devotee is is realized Krishna, especially your sir, if you're an associate of Lord Chaitanya, you you realize Krishna's in the jungle. Okay? And, and, and so he, he engages people, see, in the loving service of the Lord. And only they can do it. You're, if you want to engage in Krishna's loving service, you have to be under the bona fide spiritual master. See, then something can be accomplished here. You notice the Lord, it says over and over again, I, this is the revelations I've been getting be, uh, recently, is seeing the Lord showing me, says, see, I always do it with my devotees. I always liberate the world through my devotees. I always do something significant together with my devotees. I don't do it alone. Jesus Christ had his devotees. See, because whether the Lord comes as Lord Chaitanya, the supreme power of Radha and Krishna together combined, he also comes as a spiritual master and always doing the same thing. He comes and he liberates the world with his devotees. See, his disciples, his devotees, his real followers, right? It's always the same thing. See, Madhavinda Puri, now, he, he, because he's authorized, bona fide spiritual master, he gets people to help in that work of deliverance. Okay, so Krishna says, I'm situated in the jungle over there. And who is that? That's all these living entities. They're in the jungle, man. That's Krishna. He's, he's sitting in that forest of the material world. See? And so what do we do? We also got choppers and spades, just like Jesus Christ had choppers and spades. Might have been the poor. Choppers and spades. They go into the, the jungle and cut down that jungle growth to take Krishna out. What is that jungle growth? Those are those weeds, man. Hypocrisy, lying, cheating, uh, what do you call it? Speculation, the putana, the, the uh, uh, poisoned harikata, all that is caused jungle growth. Krishna is overwhelmed. He can't move. He needs help to be taken out. See, so when the Lord delivers the world, he does it uh, through the bona fide spiritual master and their helpers. 
So I told her, she says, well, you can do, you can, no, you got it. You also, you're a helper in this, everybody. We're together in this thing. And that's how Krishna makes a contribution in this world. Okay, so yeah, so there's all this jungle growth. You notice that Prabhupada used this idea and, and also Bhakti Siddhanta, uh, cutting down jungle growth. See, this jungle growth is which is covering um, um, the, uh, the covering Krishna. You know, the little Krishna. We're meant to be with Krishna, intimate with Krishna, protected by Krishna, just like the residents of Vrindavan. But you see, he has to use the bona fide spiritual master, you know, the, whether Diksha and Shiksha. Just like it wasn't enough with Bhakti Siddhanta to bring everybody through. He says, boy, their name and fame was really strong. See, jungle growth, he couldn't cut it all down. <laughs> You know, and then with Prabhupada too, still cutting down some jungle growth and Mayavadi stuff and all that, but still jungle growth. Couldn't cut it all down. Okay? And, same, and so the same thing now is in Shiksha Guru here, cutting down jungle growth. You see, everybody is qualified with what, what uh, uh, qualification, what symptom? Ecstatic devotion. Bhakti Vinod had it, didn't he? We all know he had it. Bhakti Siddhanta also, right? Prabhupada, yes. God brothers, well, we're not so sure, are we? we they don't even talk about it much. Or anybody else? Well, we, yeah, me, uh, ooh, ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boo! <laughs> Who knows? What about this fool here? Well, he's got something. <laughs> A lot of people don't know much. We're not sure exactly what it is. We think it's Sahaja. <laughs> we don't know what Sahaja really means. We don't know where actually the Sahaja is out there. <laughs> up there on the throne. We got no bhakti, no tears, nothing. But we're Guru Dave and no my desire. To me, that's more Sahaja than anything. At least we're crying for Krishna, you know? <laughs> yeah. See, so we got our little party. We're going into the jungle, man. And, and who are we liberating? Krishna himself, right? He's out there. He's overwhelmed because he's a little part and parcel, you know. It's like, you know, and he can't move easily because all the weeds are around him like this. And then after Prabhupada left, a lot of jungle growth still, right? And just that people say, well, you listen to our philosophy. Well, actually, Krishna, oh, you know, of course Prabhupada wants. I remember the first thing. Of course Prabhupada wants us to be our Uttamadi cars. Like, Don't you see our Vyasasans? Don't you know he told us? We got these tapes that we kind of spliced here and there. <laughs> kind of cut like this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, jungle growth. We don't have to name it so much. We just say there's jungle growth on there. And we're here to cut down a little bit more. Maybe a lot more, actually. Because <laughs> the final result is at hand. It's very close. Matter of fact, it's so close that people already got it. A lot of them are already driving. They're already jumping right into the kingdom. Feet first, man. Jumping right in there. Making a big splash. <laughs> so you see, so that's the purpose. So, so we're um, so the bona fide guru in that story is going into the jungle to free Krishna. Anyway, coming in with the choppers and space. So you see, people say, "What? Oh, I won't believe in God because he's not like Rupa Goswami, man." And the Goswamis, they were they were just they were just all mousy and just really always the blah and all this. And always, oh, you know, the person would be a, a fool and an idiot and, and be preaching to them and committing all kinds of offenses. Say, oh, you're right, yes, I am just, you know. Wouldn't debate with anybody. Oh, no, no you're so smart. See, and nothing happens. <laughs> but then they send the preacher, okay, now you guys go out and cut some jungle growth, man. Srivas, 
Srinivas and, and Nartam and Shamananda, oh, they went out with the, hey man, they were armed with the Goswami books, man. All those really quiet guys there writing the books, man. They had all the choppers and spades, man. They had Bhagavatam, man. Vishwanath, well, no, he wasn't even, he didn't, wasn't there. But anyway, they had Sridhar uh, Swami's commentaries and they went out and just chopped away at the illusionists. Just like we do. They, man, there's still some jungle growth here, man. You know, the main thing, I'm chopping away. Why are we chopping away with our helpers and everything? Because if we can establish that that there's the book Bhagavad and a real devotee Bhagavad here, if the devotees will believe that, you know, they're saved because very quickly they'll get bhakti like Lalita Ganga, like her, and like this person, and like another person, like, oh, about well, five or six people already. Can you imagine thousands and millions of devotees just believing like, oh, wow, well, we got Prabhupada's books and we got a living Bhagavad that actually is, is awakening devotion. They've actually, Krishna is showing us all that, man, this person's authorized to speak the Bhagavatam because he's awakening ecstatic love. He said, boy, that's their, his Bhakti Shastra. You know, that's his qualification. Where's it? Oh, he doesn't seem to need a doty neck beads or nothing. Not even a building to preach Krishna consciousness and awaken souls and free that Krishna in our hearts that's stuck in all that jungle growth. See, can you imagine a thousand devotees believing that? Because that means a thousand liberated souls. That's why it's so important, Guru Tattva. Just for that, because you got the Bhagavatam, all you need is the real empowered Bhagavat with the order. I've been telling everybody, Prabhupada came to me and, 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 and authorized complete approval, doing exactly what he wants. And then Krishna saying, yeah, you know, in his playful way, sitting in the tree. My second disciple saying, yeah, anybody, you know, you, you got my darshan because of your guru. And other people are getting the darshan. Truth proof is you can relish these books in ecstasy. That means Radha is even coming to you. Actually, that's the main thing. Bhakti. Hey, can you imagine? Now, when the, there's faith in the book, we got Prabhupada's books and a person speaking it as it is, which you can see with your own eyes. The only reason people can't see it is they believe in the illusionists. It's like there's a magicians out there. And they're saying, look at the sleight of hand and you're looking at this. Can you see how we're changing the Bhagavatam's message? No, you can't see, man. Oh, look at all the shell. Yeah, where's the real thing? Hey, that's the only reason. Yeah, but hey, man, you if you got Prabhupada's books, which we do, and you've got the real devotee empowered, then you've got the, the power of the absolute truth. You've got... You've got the axe, which is the Bhagavatam, and you got the handle. See, now you got the whole thing, and now you're gonna you're gonna chop up Maya, man. There we got our choppers and spades to do some work in this world. Who's who's helping? Well, we got some helpers already, man. We're out there going out there. Chopping away, man. To free that deity, free Krishna. Let's go take a banner up, man. Let's, you know, free Krishna. He needs to be freed, yeah, because it's a little particle of Krishna. Has the living entity. Okay? It's very inspiring work, man. Great work, great dividends, man. Can't make a lot of money doing it, but sure, man, you can make a lot of spiritual profit. Here and into the kingdom. And a lot of good friends. And these friends won't be undermining. They won't be jealous. Of, well, maybe if you get a lot of bhakti, you might get a little bit of jealousy here, but that's good. That gets them a little inspired to, you know, also want it. But not like of the world stuff, man. Yeah, really good friends here, man. They're really here for you. Yeah, hey, man, that's great. You get some good friends instead of a bunch of people that are just waiting for you. You know, oh, you love them, they love you. It's a business deal. And when your usefulness is done, well, how much money are you leaving us? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so going into the jungle, 
the choppers and spades, see the bona fide guru, they collect their little band of merry and merry men and women and go into the thing and have this and start freeing Krishna of the jungle growth. And which is what is the choppers and spades? The truth. You know, choppers and spades is all the tools in the Bhagavatam and the Goswami books. And just telling people the real truth as it is and, and just chopping away at the illusion. And, and because, you know, a lot of this stuff with, yeah, even preaching with, you know, sannyas garb and all that stuff, they, they do it. They, Prabhupada knew that people were not qualified for sannyas. Bhakti Sananda all knew they were not qualified for sannyas. It's not enough just being austere and all that. It's not, but it was for preaching because people believe in that and everything. But you know what? We're at a time now. It's 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 to preach the real truth as it is, and and without the backdrop of props. That's basically what we're doing, right? Is saying, hey man, the truth is so powerful, even if it's spoken by a donkey or a fool or a sudra. If it's the truth, it's liberating people. It's bestowing ecstatic devotion on others. So it's time for that kind of preaching, isn't it? You take all the frills off so it's not mixed in there and you just straight out truth here. Look at the power of it. I mean, even, I mean, even sannyasi should at least like, like, wow, say like marvel at, look at this, we got to wear this, we got to do this, we got to toe the party line and everything so that we can keep in our jobs. And look at this guy, he just speaks the truth. It keeps him in a job. It could, you know, that could unearth me and everything if I just keep, if, if something, I'm telling you what's in Prabhupada's books, if I don't, if I'm not fitting that bill, you just say, hey man, get out of here, man. We want somebody that fits the bill. See? So it's time for this kind of preaching. So that's our choppers and spades is the truth. See? And we're taking the deity out there and situated on the hill of Govardhan, right? Hill. Put him on the hill. See, what did Jesus say? If you got a light, don't put a lampshade over it. Put on a hill! Aren't we doing that? That's what I say. You're on a hill, man. Don't put this friggin' lampshade that's been on there. Oh, you know, oh I don't know. I don't know. Did you see that fault there? Stop being a fault finder of yourself, even. <laughs> put it on a hill. We're looking at there. There's light there, man. You know, yeah, it's flickering a little bit from the old path, but just keep putting it up there and all of a sudden the brightness will get brighter, brighter, brighter and the other stuff will just go, whatever's there. But don't stop putting it on the hill. Hey, put it on the hill. See, and worship the Krishna. See, for, with truth. With truth, it starts with the witness program, getting people convinced that, hey man, your guru is empowered. Your guru has liberated you. Isn't that important for people? They don't know. They're going to all these persons and not even non-liberated. Can you imagine? Can you see the magnitude of this? Here, if there's an empowered person and there is here, head of the real disciplic line, which is true here, and you know that. But 99% of Vaishnavas don't know that. Therefore, they're not in ecstatic devotion like many of the persons here. That's, do you see why Lalita Ganga is getting emphatic about this? It's like, hey man, the truth is here. You know what, I'm just going to go back to Godhead on my own. No, devotees don't think like that. They've got this love of God. No, you want, hey man, I, this is like, this is the Ross of preaching of liberating that Krishna and all that jungle growth, there are all those weeds, all that speculation, all that faith in, in hypocritically devout, in religion, basically it's religion, you're, re you're, you're liberating people from religion and all its hypocrisies and speculations and blind followers and blind leaders. We're not meant to worship Krishna in the jungle like that. That's like Krishna's in the jungle. He, nobody's got any power to bring him out. But that's why the ecstatic devotees are the head of the disciplic line. If you don't have strong and intense ecstatic love, how can you say you're in the parampara? Really? It's a very low quality guru. And, and if you're worshiping somebody like that, you're idol worshiping. You stay idle. More or less, you'll die like you were because your guru can't help you much and you can't you know you're not helped either 
Okay? The bona fide spiritual master is the, is the mature ecstatic devotee. Just like it says, Madhavinda Puri. See, and then they get people who listen to their message. Come on, man, help me out. We're going, going into the jungle to liberate Krishna. That's the material world like this. Look at it, we got people coming in, they got our choppers and spades, the truth that you're hearing. Truth, you're getting purified, you're getting the power of devotion also. Look what it does. Well, look at look, Lita and Yohan, and power of devotion, man. Inspiring. See, speaking truth, man, choppers and chopping away at all this stuff. Isn't that an interesting realization today? Yeah. See, he's put Krishna on a hill. See, you see, that's it. See, and that's, that's, see, that's when you've been chopped away and everything. You're on that hill, man. And you show the real Krishna by your preaching. Isn't that what we're doing? We're putting the real Krishna on the hill so he can be seen and not the Krishna that's covered over with all that speculation and all that jungle growth. He needs to be freed in the form of these uh, religionists and, and, and followers and leaders also. They're all jungle growth all over there. See, what do we do? We take the truth, the truth of the, even this, even this realization and revelation, if it convinces people that, my God, we never heard any of our gurus teaching anything like this. Who knows this? Only a, a real authorized spiritual master that can really lead us can know these things. Where have you heard such revelation? Why do you think the Lord is giving them? To convince people, if you come here, you'll be liberated because that's where his grace is coming through. Hey, that's the whole point of your preaching and my preaching, just convince people to look over here where Krishna, the real Krishna is put on the hill to be worshiped. He's on our hill, man, the truth. See? But people are worshiping this Krishna that's covered over by jungle growth and weeds and all of that. That's why they can't, neither the leaders and the followers, they're all covered by jungle growth and they can't get out. They have to be broken out by the empowered devotee. And when people respect the preaching of the empowered devotee, which goes, I'm just telling with the book, See, even indirectly is teaching this. See, without ecstatic devotion in a mature stage, you're not guru. See, it's, it's chapter one, Adi Lila. It's all in the books, Prabhupada's books. Chapter one, Adi Lila. It's by the action of the book Bhagavad and the devotee Bhagavad. Absorbed in ecstatic love, absorbed in devotional mellows, absorbed in, absorbed in pure love of God. See, all synonymous words. See, that this devotion is instilled in your heart and then the Lord comes under your control like you see, Lalita Ganga. You see, Johan. See? They just open their mouths and, and tears come to their eyes. The right understanding comes. And, and Krishna's pleased when they speak about the glories of their guru. And Krishna melts their hearts. See, that's, what's that saying? It's true. It's Krishna. See? Confirming. What do you think Jesus had? He couldn't get anybody to believe him in the Pharisee thing. He said, well, you know, God is my witness. Yeah, <laughs> if I was not speaking the truth, then these miracles would not happen. They, and they, for him, the miracles were healings. Uh, and basically, what, the miracles he did is what we're doing. And this the deeper side of it. The other people are always looking for material phenomena. But actually, he opened the ears of the deaf, and that's a miracle we do. She even said... She couldn't hear or even understand Prabhupada's books. Now she does. Okay? We open blind eyes. See, you don't know where the real path is. People say, oh, here's the real path, man. See, now, you know, it's been illuminated for me. I'm right in there, man. See, your, your blindness is cured. Me, your crippledness. You were crippled before. Everybody's crippled. You know, so Lilita Ganga said, I was just, I was so shy. I couldn't do any. I was crippled. You're crippled spiritually. Is she crippled now? Huh? She said, boy, I used to be shy in the mode of goodness. I was a cripple. She was a cripple, spiritual cripple. Couldn't do anything. 
Everybody is crippled. You're all crippled out there. And if you're in religion and you got a guru that has not got ecstatic love and or is giving you a bullshit trip, like maybe, well, you know, maybe we got it, maybe we don't, maybe we got it, maybe we don't. <laughs> I call your bluff in here. Yeah. You know, people are crippled. Look at we we just we, she can walk now. Here's the miracle here. Your guru has created a miracle. Look at that. Lalita Gunga, she was a cripple, man. Crippled by uh, mode of goodness even. You know, burnt out. <laughs> Johan also was crippled, right? Others too. I mean, I mean, you, you, know, you start becoming, you get up and open your friggin' mouth and I'll start talking about you. You start doing that. You wonder, well, why is he talking about me? Well, you start opening your mouth like Johan and River, uh, her, and also River. I talk about her a lot too. She opens her mouth. Karuna, I tell him, tell him, can I maybe keep it closed for a while? <laughs> no, just joking. He's a good guy. He's good. <laughs> we like hearing from him. Just got to keep them under a little bit. Uh, direct it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's the essence of the story. Is and, and that's why here, we're here, obviously, to do a work here. It's an important work. Here. And, and people that come here will get the final deliverance now. Not just a bunch of rules and all that. We're going into the final thing. This is like the Jesus trip for the Vaishnavas. Okay? This, is, this is the good news for the Vaishnavas and many will be delivered. You just convince them by your own testimony, not by any bluff, not any blind belief, just by actually what the Lord is doing. We can't be any easier than that. The only thing is just whatever weeds are in the way that you've got from your past, that's all. And the more you get, on the, you get up on your soapbox, and just testify, give your testimony, you'll get overcome all that. And not only will you be liberated, but you'll liberate your brothers and sisters. They're all stuck waiting for you. Okay? That's how you help the spiritual master. You see, it's all it's teamwork. Otherwise, we nothing, we can't do anything. Okay? That's why you notice people don't get, uh, there's nothing much you can do people are like they're serving Prabhupada, but you know, with speculation and everything, now they don't even know, you know, even huh, it's just not clear. Everything's unclear, so they don't make much progress. I mean, we're making a lot of progress because we're on the truth, man, and uh, and the potency's here. The ball has been placed in our hands. And so anybody that's convinced that that truth. You're, you've just delivered somebody because if they just even do like 30 days to listen, there's some significant changes in their conscience will happen because there's, there's, you, you all know coming here, there's no truth power, more powerful than this. So go just tell the world. Oh yeah, they're going to, ah, we don't want to hear. Well, Maya does, that's what she does. She's like a machine. You put the truth out, she covers it up. What do you think the material world is all about? So you're getting the power now. You got the power to fight Maya. It's just a machine. Like in that 2001 movie, that Hal was a machine. What was that guy's name? Um, forgot his name. Now, now don't do that. You know. So anyway, you're fighting that machine of Maya. And yeah, you got to expect, you tell the truth, she's going to counteract with the, uh, uh, weapons of illusion and you counteract with weapons of truth. Just the way it goes until she just submits. Yeah. That's our choppers and spades. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share. Just a little bit there. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Let's see if there's any comments here. Balaram says, this Prema fool, Gurmaj, definitely fits this description. <laughs> Just watch his life every day, listen to what's coming out of his mouth and ears and nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, coming out of the ears. I, this, is, this is what I hear when, when I hear the pastimes. You know, either I'm speaking or somebody else. I hear, oh, wow, look at this revelation. See, it helps us, right? Get more clear reference. Like, what are we doing? Where? Why is it working like this? Okay. 
So see, the Lord delivers his devotees out there. His, there are a lot of sincere devotees in religion out there. They're trying their best, but they're covered with all this jungle growth. Leaders are covered with jungle growth, so they can't help very well. And so their followers are naturally covered. So it, it takes an outside force to go and break, you know, cut there, cut stuff up and pull them out. Okay, okay thank you very much. Hare Krishna.